May your soul rest in peace. Amen. Ghana, we can't forget you. What impact does he have on your life? He saw that the independence of we can become self-reliant regardless of our political differences, tribal differences, extend a peaceful hand to other countries. Hi. Hi. Happy Tuesday. Thank you. Thank Welcome you. Welcome to my channel. And well, may you introduce yourself. All right. My name is Evangelist Dr. Emanuela Waga, a.k.a. Second Virgin. Second Virgin has to do with my herbal product, Second Virgin. Okay. That is very powerful. Ladies are using and it is helping them a lot. Men and ladies are using it all together. It just uh, a, a subsidy or it promotes good marital homes. That is it. Okay, so I saw you dancing to a music that was being played. So I want to ask, what else do you do apart from herbal medicine? Right, so... Um, I'm a musician as well. I'm an evangelist and a musician as well. Okay. And if you saw me dancing, it has to do with my new song or a song I'm doing for Ghana wow. entitled National Peace Anthem. National Peace Anthem. And um, regardless of our political differences, tribal differences, cultural differences, religious differences, we got to see ourselves as one that is the only way we can maintain peace in ghana and that is all my song is about and especially we are in an election year and ghana peace is very much important to us and i said that the peace of ghana is meaningless unless it is even extended to the entire continent of africa and the world at large wow. let us promote peace wherever you are wow very interesting yeah you said it all for yourself given that the time we are in right now is getting closer to elections and i feel like this song talking about peace is very pertinent to our elections and i want to ask apart from politics what actually inspired the theme of the song yeah thank you very much um, i think that uh, day in day out we, you, we even see brothers and sisters having misunderstanding one way or the other. Even you, 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 you'll be there and you hear that the secondary school uh, crash, there's a crash between secondary schools and then it results into violence. And I think that violence shouldn't be part of our culture or our day in, day out living. That is why the song is out so that each and every one or all Ghanaians should take it wherever we are that even in your homes know that we are brothers and sisters regardless of our differences you may be a, a you may be a Kotoko supporter I'm a house of hope it doesn't mean we are enemies yeah. you are NDC you am an MPP we are not enemies that is what I want Ghanaians to understand and I want even people who are not Ghanaians but are living in Ghana I just want us to understand that we are brothers and sisters and let's live in harmony. Let's live in peace. Thank you. Okay, thank you too. How how far do you think do you see this song going? As far as peace is concerned, you know God is peace. Okay. And as far as the world is concerned, I want this song to reach as far as the end of the world. Yes, because you realize that you listen to the, the continent all over, there, there's one way or the other uh, war ongoing. And it is my desire that this song will speak to authorities that are into these uh, wars or these challenges so that my song will speak to them and peace will prevail in these countries that are, are, are into war or are fighting day in, day out. Because if we see ourselves as brothers and sisters, I don't think there will be any need for us killing one another. Thank you very much. You are welcome. I was listening to the song when you were dancing and I heard you mention Dr. Kwame Nkrumah and some of his quotes. Yes. What impact does he have on your life? Frankly speaking, I would want to say the foundation Dr. Kwame Nkrumah has laid for Ghana. I wish, I wish the, the, those who have succeeded him have done their best and it is our turn. We are doing our best, but I think we can do better. So, 
to do better is one we must be in peace two peace call for development it is when we have peace that we can develop so i want us to understand that dr kwame nkrumah is also a man of peace and he saw that the independence of our nation ghana is meaningless until it is extended to the entire continent of africa but i say that the peace of ghana as well is meaningless unless it is extended to the entire continent of africa and the world at large i think this is the only way that we can become self-reliant self-develop and then extend a peaceful hand to other countries as well so there's a need to see ourselves as one people you talk about dr kwame Kuma. He's, 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 he's a father, he's a man to be liberate, uh, celebrated, and I'm not saying it, he's a man to be celebrated. He's a celebrity, wherever he's so he, Papa, may your soul rest in peace. Amen. Because Ghana, we can't forget you. You have done a lot. You have done a lot. You have done a lot. Yes, Ghana can never forget you. Not even Africa. Africa cannot forget you. And I know your contribution towards Ghana, Africa, and the world at large can, is never forgettable. We are grateful. May you also rest in peace, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. I'm really impressed. I'm impressed. Talking about Dr. Kwame Nkrumah in Africa, when you read about the history of Kwame Nkrumah, at a point in time, he traveled from Ghana to Burkina Faso yes. just to extend the peace that he was fighting for so he can extend beyond Africa like you're right easy yeah. yeah and he also talked about new colonialism yes as well yeah. now looking at our country now and other countries in Africa in general sometimes borrowing from other countries and all these foreign leaders subjecting us to poverty and policies that do not help us what do you have to tell our leaders about that yes as a peace promoter one i want us to look at ourselves that ghana we have all it takes to 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 support ourselves to finance ourselves africa we have all it takes so i want to say emphatically that it is not the white man that is not helping or supporting us in africa it is we africans that are supporting the white man yeah. outside over there because the resources we have here it is what is extracted to to develop their world so it is one thing to know that we are capable africa we are capable that is one we are capable of managing our own affairs and it is something that all african leaders or african youth must rise up for i have a song soon and very soon that song will also come out that african youth rise up it is time for we african youth to rise up and realize that we have all it takes to manage our own country our own continent and be self-reliant so going outside to borrow um it is not it is a bad idea to say because if ghana should be a human being if ghana is to be a human being 63 or 65 years of age to go outside and pre present a budget to the white man that this is what we have prepared and we need money to that effect it will mean that ah uh. okay 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 thank you so ghana we are capable of developing our own country and that is all ghanaian youths we have to stand for we have to rise up for we have to do everything possible to develop our nation not depending on any other country thank you very much thank you thank you since they are stopping us yes but yes. i just want you to you know give a word of advice to you know, there are other West African countries like Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger all going through an effort to stop the white man from taking advantage of their resources. What word of encouragement would you give to them? Yes, I think that uh, our colleagues or our friends, uh, Burkina Faso, Mali, Mali Niger, Niger uh, Gudus, Gudus, we are not supporting the idea or we are not supporting violence, yeah. but 
uh, if it will take violence to be self-reliant or take whatever belongs to you and release yourself from slavery i think it is it is it is on it is in the right direction so it is the right direction that they are doing this and we pray that the favor of god the power of god be behind them that their efforts will no, yield no, no, no. something better for the whole of africa any advice to anyone planning to visit ghana yes ghana is a very peaceful country it's uh, we have a, lo a whole lot of tourist uh, centers or sectors in ghana it's a beautiful place to visit or to do well so viewers outside there we want to entreat you to come to ghana and see wonderful things see our culture see the culture we have as a it's a very rich culture come and see come yourself and see it yourself thank, thank you, you so much you're thank welcome you. <laughs> thank you thank you're you welcome. i really appreciate your nope and nope probably never ever 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 gonna happen oh